You are watching Getting Tabled. Hello, future people, and welcome to an unboxing. I'm bagging, actually, but it is a Kickstarter that I recently backed. Um, this is a very quick turnaround on this Kickstarter. It was funded on September 10th, 2020, and today is October 2nd, 2020, and it's already in my hands. Uh, it is the Playmats and Bags for Board Games by BoardGameTables.com. Uh, looks like Chad Deshaun. I apologize if I've butchered your name. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but I backed the simple uh, gray carrying bag to transport some board games. Let's go take a look. I almost started this without the exacto knife, so I was, you know, going to have to try to tear the tape. Uh, it is a resealable bag, so use it for some other storage. Hopefully, my uh, kitten doesn't get into it while I'm doing this. And that's a it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, BoardGameTables.com if uh, you don't see the link in the description. Uh, first thing, uh, it is padded all the way around. What we got here? What else is... Oh, so he does... Don't know how I can... Looks like he does some custom furniture as well for... for games as well. Um... It's pretty much a standard duffel bag, so to speak. Uh, got some feet, so it doesn't, you know, if it's properly filled up and whatnot, you can sit on the ground. It's not going to get wet or dirty. Uh, don't eat these kids. Silica gel pack's bad. Uh, nice heavy duty zipper. And then backpack straps. So. For me, not so much of a big deal because, well, I have my own vehicle to transport in. But if you live in a place where public transport, you know, is is your way to go, and you ride buses, subway, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, backpack backpack straps to carry around with, so you're not having to do the handles. Um, it is padded all the way around. That was one of the things that was talked about in the Kickstarter. Uh, this is to help uh, protect your game boxes. Helps if I put it over there to where you can see the opening instead of the lid. Uh, we got zipper pocket here on the side. Looks like put some paper. Um, your traditional uh, this belongs to so and so. Um, I like the color. I like the little little contrast of the piping. Um, with shipping, uh, the shipping was $4 uh, domestically here in the U.S. Uh, price of the bag was $29. So do math at uh, 7.30 at night, and that is $33. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm very shocked at how fast this showed up. Uh, as I said, the Kickstarter did end on the, the 10th of September, and it is just the beginning of October, so less than a month turnaround. Um, if you've heard of a faster Kickstarter, let me know. Uh, I'd be very interested to hear about that. And and yeah, um, I am going to put some uh, board games in there because, well, it's what it's for. Um, I do have a couple of Simon uh, Cthulhu Death May Day boxes, which they are bigger than standard, so we'll see how well everything fits with those. turn down turn down some brightness here as I still figure out settings for lighting let's see here playing from HAL 8.0 all right that's a little bit better And as I said, this is this is a substantially larger box. Now it looks like that one just barely does not fit um, height-wise. Let's see if I can get this rotated to. Oh, 
put part one of it in there too. And, and so now we'll tip it this way. And as you can see, it's they're larger boxes, so they do stick up about an inch proud of of the rest of it. But so far. And the zipper does does go around it no problem you do have to be a little careful on the corner right here it's a little tight uh, but yeah looks like you can tuck in something in there, uh, maybe a map. Um, looks like pretty standard uh, construction as far as uh, sewing the straps. Nothing too crazy. But yeah. Uh, oh, it goes all the way through. Uh, I don't know. There we go. It goes all the way through. Uh, oh yeah, I remember on the uh, seeing this on the Kickstarter. It was so that if you are, say, traveling internationally, uh, Europe folks, uh, if you have a roll along, your handle can slide through that um, right here. So, uh, for the price, yes, absolutely worth it. Uh, I've seen backpacks, just normal backpacks, you know, for just school supplies, um, twenty bucks. So for an additional nine, you get a very, very large, very padded bag to carry board games in. Um, now, unless you're a uh, habitual board gamer traveling around a lot, you may put it through a lot more wear and tear than, say, I'm going to put it through. But for the price, I think it's a pretty good option. Uh, other than the, you know, and and, and it's not the 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 manufa bag manufacturing at all. It's it's the board game manufacturing by uh, Simon that did this, but um, so, you know not all boxes are created equal. Uh, the God Terror ticket to right size. Uh, I do have a Ruin Wars here, so let's pop out the Cthulhu ones. As that that fits in uh, very nicely, like that. So. Uh, yeah, uh, worth it? Absolutely, I think so. Uh, shipping, like I said, it was domestic, uh, $4. Uh, it didn't travel that far uh, to get from Kansas to, to where I'm at in Wyoming. Um, probably probably a good day's drive. So for, for postal transit, uh, not the most expensive. Uh, going to anywhere else in the U.S., you know, but getting over to Europe... I don't know how much it costs. Um, I'm sure there's probably options available like this over there. Um, not my market, so I don't know. But I think a great investment, especially if you uh, do play board games with friends and need a better way to transport them. Uh, that's it for this unboxing, and we'll hope to see you in the future. Play more games.